Hi, I'm Angela Saxon. Um, I'm here with my friends Ann Corlett and Chris Deans um, for a 10-day printmaking residency at the Miller Beach Arts and Creative District in Gary, Indiana. Um, we have been making monotypes. We arrived here on Saturday and have been working, um, having a great time. Today, um, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple monotype using oil pastels and crayons. For those of you that don't know, a monotype is a print that is made by applying ink or paint or crayons in our case to some sort of a surface that we call a plate and then transferring that to paper via some sort of pressure. So today we're going to be using as our plate plastic sheeting. This is the kind of stuff that you would get at a hardware store or you might use it to cover a broken window for a while, you you know, whatever you use the plastic for. You can also use Ziploc bags. We're going to be using tracing paper, just to kind of as part of our process, but this is not essential. And then just plain white, like copy or paper, really any smooth white paper will do. We're going to be using oil pastels, um, which are kind of a waxy sort of a crayon, but you can also use really any crayons that you have. We're going to be using a pencil to make our transfer and just the back end of a Sharpie, actually. Okay, let's get started. To start with, we take our tracing paper. So we're going to make a drawing. And today, I'm just going to draw a flower. It's a really simple shape. So I'm just going to draw a tulip. I'm using a Sharpie just so that you can see what I'm doing, but it doesn't really need to be such a dark drawing. So here's my shape. Sort of a simple little tulip. We put a stem on it and then a couple of leaves. Really simple. Now I'm going to take my piece of, I put this face down. And I, I just have a plain white piece of paper to work on just so I can see better. Now I'm going to pick up my plate or my piece of plastic. I'm going to put that on top of my drawing. And if you notice, I turned my drawing over. It's because we make a plate, when we make a print, uh, the drawing gets reversed. So I'm, I just flip my piece of tracing paper upside down. So now I've got tracing paper, plastic plate. Now I'm gonna make this a red tool. So I have just a red oil pastel. And I'm going to cover kind of loosely the area of my drawing. And I'm covering it barely, kind of as thick as I can. You can see the plastic kind of wiggles as I'm moving, so I kind of press between my fingers to just sort of keep it from sliding around. You could tape it down if you wanted, but it's not absolutely necessary. I do try to keep my fingers out of the oil pastel if I can, just because it can transfer on my fingers. But there you see the red's pretty well covered. I'm gonna use a little bit of green for the leaves. Nothing too fancy here. You see they're wrinkled up a little, but it doesn't really matter. And if it moves a little, and again, it's not really critical. All right, we about have it. So here's our plate, All right? Now I'm gonna take my clean piece of paper that's what I'm gonna transfer my print onto. I'm going to align this on top and make a sandwich of sorts. Now you could tape this together if you wanted, if you were worried about something sliding, but it, again, it's not that critical. I'm going to carefully turn this over. And now I can see my drawing. Underneath that, I have my plate with the crayon on the bottom side and my piece of clean paper. I'm just going to use a regular pencil and I'm going to start transferring this. And I, you see, I can kind of see that, that my drawing isn't quite lined up with the plate, so I'm going to move it around a little. So I'm sure that there's crayon all inside my drawing lines. Now I'm just going to start the color. Let's take a quick peek and see what happened so far. See, it, the drawing has transferred. I could make this kind of scratchy and scribbly if I wanted to see all those lines. 
look, see what that looks like. Or I could use something like the smooth end of a marker, make an altogether different kind of mark. You can't see what you're doing on the surface, though. It's kind of magic. So it's a really different kind of a mark. Let's go ahead and finish with a pencil. I'm going to kind of go around the outline to kind of define it a little bit, just because I think that would be sort of interesting. You see, the same way when I was applying the ink, I'm also sort of putting my fingers to hold the piece of tracing paper, just sort to of hold it so it doesn't wrinkle up. Let's transfer, let's transfer the leaves just with an outline. So I'm just gonna, I'm pressing fairly hard. Not, not super, super hard, but I'm probably denting the paper a little tiny bit. I'm just drawing these leaf shapes. All right, let's see what we've got. So the tracing paper comes out of the way, our plate comes out of the way, and there's our drawing, our print, sorry, not our drawing. So you can see it's a mirror image of the, of my original drawing. The marks that we get with this kind of a transfer are so different than the marks we could make with a crayon. If we were just coloring with a crayon on a piece of paper, it's just gonna look really different, isn't it? If I wanted to draw that same flower, well, it's not quite the same, but see the marks are really different. There's a, there's a delicacy with kind of a monotype transfer that you just can't get with a crayon, which is why I think as, as a painter, I was trained as a painter, monotype printing is so interesting because it's just a whole new vocabulary of mark making. So now we can take and add to this using the same piece of this screen. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, and I'm just gonna make color a blue area on my plate, just off to the side. Because this plate really doesn't have any function other than a vehicle to hold the crayon as part of the transfer, but before I make the transfer. It's nice that it's, the reason that we use Visqueen or a, a, a Ziploc bag is because we can see through it. So I can place this wherever I want. Let's say I want to add a little bit of blue sky around this flower. I can just, I'm drawing really lightly right now. And I'm just coloring over the blue area. And there's some blue marks. I can move it down to here where the leaf was. And I can sort of continue adding some blue. I could add a little bit of a blue shadow shape to the flower. So really the possibilities are endless. We can also transfer using our fingers. Let's go back, let's say we wanna add some of the green in by the leaf. Because again, I can see through, I can line this up pretty well. Pretty good. I'm going to use my thumb, my thumbnail. I'm just going to add some veins to the leaf. I know you can't really see what you're doing, so it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of chance on how this is going to actually look. That's what's interesting about printmaking too. I could hold it here and look. So we have a whole nother set of marks. What if we add a little bit of shading to the? There we go. So that is an oil pastel monotype line transfer process. Um, if you have any questions or want to know more about this, you can visit our website, paintersprinting.com. There's an email link there. And we're going to be doing another class on Thursday. I'm again using oil pastels, but I'm going to show you how to transfer with a wooden spoon. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.